So today is brew day. Uh, we're brewing an IPA today. Blew the keg. Uh, it's my new new kegerator over here. Coffee over there roasting away. Uh, we're in the process right now of just uh, doing a sanitizing. I like to boil about four gallons of water, run it through all my hoses, through my pump, uh, out through my counterflow chiller just to make sure everything's clean. And then we just run it to waste out there in the ditch, which probably shouldn't, but what else do you do at this time of day with uh, uh, four gallons of boiling water? Made some changes that I think I'll be happy with. My um, temperature probe used to come in the top, and so I've had times when I set the top off to dough in, and all of a sudden my, my uh, of course, my element would kick back on because it's cooling down plus I'm having trouble matching my analog and my tested uh, heating to my PID because I'm losing some heat in that uh, silicone line going up there so I went ahead and put a cross down here uh, put my temperature probe right in there so it'll always have water on it it's prior to the valve so there will always be water on it um, Williams Brewing had uh, three-way valves on sale so I got a three-way valve here and now I can go ahead and either switch to the right side there which takes it up for the recirculation or the left side right now I have hooked up to the uh, uh, Whirlpool did a little changing on the inside to improve my Whirlpool line um, as this thing comes up to boil what will happen is I'll move the Whirlpool line down to the uh, counterflow chiller and on out to waste and that way all my lines will get uh, water uh, boiling water run through them and everything should be hunky dory it should be clean and ready then I have uh, today's IPA calls for 10.18 gallons of uh, reverse osmosis water RO water uh, we'll get that in there get the bag in um, start going in so brewing today well, we're all doed in now. Uh, Susan helped me. This is a, uh, a double IPA, so 17 pounds of grain, and it's uh, easier for two people to dough in. Uh, we keep getting dough balls. So we're recirculating now. I've kind of got that cut down to uh, just a, a nice little flow in there, not full speed. Um, my valve, you can see, is kind of turned partially off. Got a little rattling in my pump. Um, what I do in large grain bills like this is I put a couple of uh, one to two little pieces of uh, one inch PVC pipe in along the bag and what that does is act as an overflow in case uh, it uh, starts to, to uh, build up too much it then will go over those and, and back in so I don't dry out my element. Um, right now I'm running 150. I'm hoping for about a 151, 152. Um, my my uh, analog here, which is pretty correct, is saying right about 159, which is a little hot. Since I've moved my uh, temp probe, I've got to play with this. Something's uh, not quite right. I don't know why I'm I'm uh, showing hotter on my analog uh, than I am on the the uh, temp probe with the temp probe right at the bottom on the, the suction to the pump so I'll have to play with it and figure out what I can get but right now I'm running a little too hot I'm trying to yeah 152 is what I'm shooting for well the bags pulled uh, I twist it around and around and around until I can squeeze out about all I can then I just let it sit there and hang um, we started our 60 minutes of boil. Um, we have it on about 65%. And as you can see in there, it, uh, when it kicks on, it has a really good rapid boil. Then it calms down for a few seconds and then it comes right back up again. This uh, recipe had a first wart hop. Uh, and so we put in a little magnum for first wart hop. And then for the, when it started to boil, I threw in my 60 minute hop, which was a Simcoe. Uh, not very much of either one of those. This um, IPA should be somewhere around about, I, I want to say 68 or 69 uh, IBUs. Um, 
let's see right now I'm recirculating uh, through the um, the whirlpool just to kind of keep the the uh, the warp moving in there that kind of helps I think with hop utilization maybe not but in my mind it does um, we're on let's say 65 percent right now it's measuring 201 degrees kind of neat having the um, temp probe down there so now I actually can know not that I really need to know uh, staying pretty accurate with the the analog right now during mash I noticed the analog was running um, seemed a lot hotter than what the PID was doing and um, so I kept sticking my digital in and my digital was corresponding very uh, very closely within one degree of what the PID said when I'd stick it in the top of the the wart so I did that about four times during the 90 minute um, mash and so even though my my analog uh, was reading somewhere in the neighborhood of about 58 uh, it appeared that I got about my 52 that I'm looking for so about uh, 50 it, it seemed to range from about 51.8 to 52.8 so I'm pretty happy with that so now we have uh, 40 more minutes to go and we throw in our first hops which is a, a whole buckload of uh, mosaic Simcoe and Amarillo and then uh, when we turn her off we'll throw in even more of the same hops and then uh, we'll be dry hopping in a week or so with this so real fruit forward um, really like it 